Hello friends, how are you doing? We are planning to build a new website for IIT Gracie. And before starting, uh, we have few conditions with what we want, right? So we want the website to be really fast. Uh, the output should be in static pages. So there is that should not be any processing involved on each request. Second, the hosting cost should be almost nil. Um, third would be that it should be easily customizable. We should be able to customize any part of it. Fourth would be um, we need to add content to it without having to write any HTML or CSS code. Okay, so going by these conditions, we have a couple of options with us. One or the first can be like WordPress, Django sites, etc., which are traditional web technologies. And what happens in these traditional web technologies is you send a request to web server. That is, you type www.xyz.com. And then some processing happens on the server. The HTML page is generated on the fly, and you get back the result. So let's see if these steps or if these traditional web technologies fulfill our conditions. And you can straight away see that as there is some processing on the fly involved, so it is losing speed and also as it requires some processing it is not purely static so you will need some or the other web server to host it and obviously it won't be cost effective as well because you will have to spend for web servers cost as well so what we have decided is to go to our other option which is a static site generator and static site generators are based on jamstack architecture what happens in Jamstack architecture is the pages are pre-rendered, pre-built HTML pages. And when you request for a website, that is, again, when you type www.xyz.com, you straight away get the pre-rendered pages. So how these match our condition, how these Jamstack or the static site generators match our conditions are, they are static pages. So they are obviously fast. No processing is involved. So obviously, the threats or the attacks are reduced to greater extents as compared to traditional web technologies. Then being static pages, they can be hosted almost free of cost on GitHub or GitLab pages and Netlify and many other hosting options. They can also be scaled easily because they are just static pages again. So you can put them in CDNs or any servers you want. You can shift them, shift the servers if you're not happy with your server's performance and you won't have to do much processing as well. Then what we have decided is we'll go ahead with these yep. Jamstack based static site generators. Yeah, and the static site generators take Markdown as input to create new content. So we don't yeah. have to write HTML, which was our last condition. Yeah. And so uh, in static site generators, also you have many options. Uh, one of them is Zola. There are others like Yugo, Gatsby, ViewPress, etc. But we have decided to go with Zola um, as it has few uh, advantages, you can say. It is just a single executable. So there's no installation yeah. process as such. You just have to download a single executable and then you can use it. It has other features like syntax highlighting, short codes, internal links. Don't worry if you're not getting what these are. Uh, when, we are when we'll be building the website, you will understand it easily. But the main reason for us to choose Zola is the templating language so uh, the templating language is similar to jinja or django templates and these are used in python applications and since we are familiar with python and jinja it will be much easier for us to uh, develop these websites using yeah. zola and yeah so in the next part we will create the website by using a theme from zola we will choose one of the theme so that we don't have to write any HTML and just add our contents using Markdown. We will also show you how you can customize them to your liking and then uh, build your own website. So if you follow along, it will be very easy for you guys to also create your website, which you can update easily by using Markdown only. Thank you. Sure.